is a parabola, y equals x squared, and we're going to find the area under the graph of the parabola, the shaded red area there, without using calculus. For those of you who know pre-calculus and algebra but haven't seen calculus, this will be a beautiful introduction to the ideas of calculus. And for those of you who've seen calculus and think this is obvious, this is going to give you a newfound appreciation of just how deep the fundamental theorem of calculus is and a newfound appreciation of integration. So let's dive into it. So the idea of calculus, the basic intuition, is to find the area under a curved picture like this, we're going to approximate it by rectangles where we know the area is just base times height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two rectangles, so I'm going to use a black marker here, so here's one half, I'm going to split into two pieces, and I'm going to go for the first rectangle is going to be this, and the second rectangle is going to be this. Now what I've done here is I'm going to approximate the red area by the areas of these two rectangles, so this one and this one. Now of course this is going to be bigger than the total area because there's this excess that is just above the graph of the parabola but within the rectangles, but let's first try and see what happens. So here what we're going to get is for the area of the first rectangle we're going to get base times height, so the base is half, and the height is, well this is going to go to one half squared, right, because it's a parabola y equals x squared, so the y value is the height of the rectangle which is, be, which is half squared, so it's going to be one half times one half squared, plus the area of the second rectangle is going to have a base of half and a height of y is 1 squared here, which is just 1, but we can write this as 1 half times 1 squared. Okay, so this is fairly elementary. We've just found the area under the, under the graph, we've approximated it from above by this quantity here. It's definitely bigger, and whatever it is, it's giving us a first approximation. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to now, instead of doing two rectangles, we're going to get a better approximation by using four rectangles. So let me draw the picture here. So I'm going to draw it again down. I'm going to draw the parabola again. So it's going to be the parabola y equals x squared. So here we're going to have one and here we're going to have one. And now what I'm going to do is instead of approximating with two, as I said, I'll use four, I'm going to take one fourth, I'm going to take one half, and I'm going to take three fourths. Okay? And one half is also two fourths, okay? So this is going to be important just to get a pattern for how the approximations are going to be. So this is going to be two fourths. Now if we try to approximate the red area again by rectangles, we can use more rectangles here. And what we can do is we can do this, we can do this. So I'm just going to use these more rectangles. So I'm going to get this going up to here. Um, then I'm going to do this rectangle here that goes up to here. And then I'm going to do, so I'm going to do this rectangle here that goes up to here, and then this rectangle that goes up to here. Okay, so I've kind of not drawn that very perfectly, but you get the idea. Okay, so this rectangle, this rectangle, this rectangle, and this rectangle. So now you can see the excess area, right? The excess that isn't actually um, included under the graph of the parabola is just this green here, this green here, this green here, this green here, is a lot smaller than the excess there. Okay, so this is going to be a better approximation. What's the area that we're going to get? So the area we're going to get is we're just going to add up the areas of the four rectangles. So the first rectangle, all the rectangles have a base of one fourth, okay? So it's going to be one fourth times the sum of the heights of the rectangles, right? Just like we could factor a half in the first calculation, we can factor a one fourth here. So the height of the first rectangle is going to be one fourth squared because it's y equals x squared, okay? So I'm just going to write it out here. We're going to have one fourth squared. Here we're going to have one fourth um, again, we're going to have two-fourths squared, and here we're going to have three-fourths squared. Okay, so basically in each case we're using the y value because your rectangle is going up to a point on the parabola. So here we're going to get one-fourth squared plus two-fourths squared, okay, plus three-fourths squared plus four-fourths squared. And of course the 4 fourth squared is a rectangle of height 1, which is the last rectangle that goes up to the point 1, 1, which is at the end of the parabola, okay? So this is the area we are going to calculate, that's the sum, that, that's going to be the area that is going to be the sum of the areas of the rectangles, and it's going to be an approximation to the area under the graph of the parabola, it's going to be a better approximation, so it's a smaller number than this one, it's going to be closer to the actual area. Now as you can see, if you keep going with this, if you split into finer and finer rectangles, your excess is going to get smaller and smaller. Here the excess is denoted by these green marks, it's going to get smaller and smaller, and what we want to do is figure out what number does this approach. Now if you've seen limits, you'll recognize this is a limit, I'm going to call it a limit eventually, but I will show this to you even if you haven't seen limits. So you're doing pre-calculus, you're going to learn about limits, and you're going to learn about integration all in one, okay? 
So what we're going to do is instead of dividing into four rectangles, we're going to divide into n rectangles, okay? Now each rectangle is going to have a base of 1 over n, okay? And the height is going to be 1 over n squared, 2 over n squared, 3 over n squared, all the way up to n over n squared. Okay, so we're going to get 1 over n times 1 over n squared plus 2 over n squared all the way up to n over n squared. Okay, so that's going to be the height of the rectangle and that's going to be the sum of the areas of the rectangles. And we want to figure out as n gets larger and larger, this is going to get closer and closer to some number. And that number is going to be the area under the graph of the parabola. Okay, so again, if you've seen integration, you may recognize this as a Riemann sum, but if you haven't seen this, you'll know this is a Riemann sum. I'm telling this to you. So lots of fancy math all in one video for everyone, basically. This is designed to be super accessible, you know, just for pre-calculus even. You don't have to know anything uh, except just algebra and variables. So share it with people, you know, share it with friends, family. Just introduce them the idea of calculus, which is so fundamental, but people don't learn it. Many people don't learn it because it seems sophisticated. Now we're going to figure out what this approach is as n goes to infinity. And I'm going to direct you to another video for one small thing, okay? But I'll motivate it. So what we're going to do is we're going to now add up these numbers, okay? So the 1 over n squared is going to factor out, okay? So when you take the squares of all of these, you're going to get 1 over n times 1 squared plus 2 squared plus dot dot, dot plus n squared divided by n squared, right? You're just adding up fractions. You have a common denominator. Now this is going to equal to one over n cubed times one squared plus two squared plus dot 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 plus n squared. Now I have a video on my channel. So you know if you have the sum one plus two plus three up to n, that's n times n plus one over two. That's a very famous sum. I've got a video on my channel on that. Check that out. I explained that very intuitively and basically but you can also find this sum, and I have a video on my channel for that, and I'll direct you to that at the end of this video. But there is a simple formula for this sum, and if you can accept that formula, you can then go over and watch the video next, and that's very elementary too. So what is the formula for that sum? Well, it's actually n times n plus one times two n plus one, okay? That's the formula. And what happens here, and I'll talk a little bit about that formula at the end. So watch till the end for something cool about that. But here what you can do is you can actually write that out as n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. Actually, I should say also over 6. Okay, so if you add 1 through n, you get n times n plus 1 over 2. Here you get n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. Okay, so this is going to be the area of the sum of the rectangles. If we divide n rectangles to approximate the area under the graph of the parabola, we're getting that. Okay, and now we want to see what happens as n gets larger and larger. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the 1 over 6 and we have 3 n's and 3 expressions in n. So we're going to do a division. Okay, so 1 over 6 times n over n times n plus 1 over n times 2 n plus 1 over n. Okay, so you'll see why I'm doing this. Okay, why I'm doing this is I'm going to get some idea of what this expression is going to look like when n gets very large. So I'm now going to erase this. And this is so beautiful because finding the sum 1 squared, 2 squared up to n squared is a trick. You know, it's a basic math trick in arithmetic. It's a very creative trick. But by doing that trick, we can actually find the area of something like a parabola. Okay, so how cool is that? So here what we're going to do is I'm just going to now go on to the next step, which is simplifying these fractions. Okay, so here we have 1 sixth. So 1 sixth times n over n is 1. Okay, that's nothing to do there. n plus 1 over n. If we make it, if we add up the numerator, it's going to be n over n plus 1 over n, which is 1 plus 1 over n. And then 2n plus 1 over n is 2n over n plus 1 over n. Okay, so that's going to be 2n over n. So I'm going to write this down even. It's going to be n over n plus 1 over n. This is going to be 2n over n plus 1 over n. 2n over n is just 2 plus 1 over n. So we get 2 plus 1 over n. That's going to be the expression. Now, it's a product of these numbers, right? This is the product of these numbers. Now, here's what happens when n gets really, really large. Think about what each number, what happens to each number. Now, those of you who know limits will recognize this as a limit as n goes to infinity. If you don't, you're getting introduced to it without the fancy stuff. 1 plus 1 over n, 1 plus 1 over 10. If you split into 10 rectangles, it becomes 1 plus 1 over 100. If you split into 100 rectangles, well, what's happening to that? 1 plus 1 over a million, if you split into million rectangles, it's getting closer and closer to 1, right? It's getting closer and closer to 1. So as n gets very large, okay, as n gets large, okay, as n gets really large, okay, I'm just putting this really large, 
this number basically starts becoming 1 over 6 times 1 times 1. The 1 plus 1 over n approaches 1. The 2 plus 1 over n by the same logic approaches 2. If you have 1,000 rectangles, 2 plus 1 over 1,000. As n gets larger, if you have a million rectangles, 2 plus 1 over a million. It gets closer and closer to 2. Again, you recognize this is a limit. If you know limits, this is 2 over 6, which is equal to 1 third. And that is the area under the graph of the parabola, y equals x squared from 0 to 1. And that is without any calculus. Okay, We've used the ideas of calculus. We've cheated a little bit. We've used limits. We've used Riemann sums. We've used integration. If you know all that stuff. And what's really beautiful, Okay, I'll say one more thing. And you know, if you, if you don't know calculus and you don't know integration, you, you can still watch this. But this is for people who know integration. Okay, But I still recommend watching this just to kind of get an intuition. So the area under the graph of the parabola y equals x squared from 0 to 1, for those of you who know integration, is represented. And this is just another cool thing for those of you who are learning pre-calculus, it's integral 0 to 1 of x squared dx. Okay, that's what an integral is. An integral is just the area under the graph. Okay, so that's just I'm telling you what integration is. So here we have integral 0 to 1 x squared dx and share with people. You know, if they don't know calculus, they can understand this if they have some pre-calculus background. Here we've got this. So if you use the fundamental theorem of calculus, you get x cubed over 3 is the antiderivative. This is the thing that differentiates to be x squared. Now, if you don't know what that is, don't worry. But then you can find out the area under the graph of the parabola. If you put in the limits of 0 to 1, it's going to be 1 third minus 0 thirds, right? 1 cubed over 3 minus 0 over 3, which is just 1 over 3. So that is the super quick method. But that, of course, relies on the fundamental theorem of calculus, which says you can find the area under the graph using the antiderivative. And actually, I'm going to direct you to the video where I find 1 squared plus 2 squared up to n squared. And I'm going to say this is so beautiful. The trick in that video, OK, I want you to watch for that. The trick in the video is actually the fundamental theorem of calculus applied to a discrete sum. Not an integral, but summing 1 squared plus 2 squared up to n squared, there is a trick where you'll see a cube come in. When you watch that video, you'll see a cube come in. You will recognize that is actually sort of the same idea of anti-differentiating to find out a discrete sum. And actually, that idea also gives you a continuous sum, as we found in this video. So check out that video. Head on over there. And check out the content on my channel. You know, I have got lots of content at all levels. I'm trying to show you how beautiful math is, teach you how to think, take you on a journey, not just present concepts. So share with friends and family. I really want everyone to see this, because I think it's so concrete and accessible to anyone who's learning algebra or pre-calculus, just to see limits integration, Riemann sum, so much stuff, even the idea of differentiation. Once you head on over to the video with 1 squared plus 2 squared up to n squared, you'll see the idea of integrating the derivative. And drop a comment there, you know, or drop a comment down below here. And I also, or how that exactly that plays out. And I also want you to think about, can you generalize this trick um, defining the area from 1 to 2 under the parabola. Can you use the same trick? That's a practice. And drop a comment down below if you get to do that. That'll really make you have a deep understanding of calculus ideas. So thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best. And I'm super excited to see you in the next video.